Let's talk about Jimmy. All of a sudden, there's news about Jimmy coming from New England, not from the Bay Area. There's no news here from the 49ers. Uh, we were thinking maybe they might cut Jimmy Garoppolo. All of a sudden, the word in New England is he's plan A for them, and they don't really have a clear-cut plan B, which makes it seem like there's some urgency on the Patriots' part to get Jimmy Garoppolo and get him this offseason and have him as their quarterback next year because – Belichick's getting older. Uh, if they don't get Jimmy, they got to start over with some other rookie quarterback, and Tom Brady could might just win another Super Bowl next year, and that's a tough look. So what do you think Jimmy Garoppolo really is worth to Jimmy to, to the Patriots? Well, I do think that this is a way harder question. Uh, last season, we all knew that the Patriot, Patriots wanted to give a first-rounder for Jimmy Garoppolo. Right? That's now, right. We, all, we all knew that he doesn't really have anything for any other teams in the NFL to give. That's why we don't think that uh, he's worth more than a fourth or a fifth round pick. But there's mm -hmm. one team, there's a single team in the NFL which can use all the abilities of Jimmy Garoppolo. And that's just because they loved Jimmy Garoppolo. He was a rookie there and they all knew what he is capable of. And that's the Patriots. And that's why I do think that Patriots, he may be worth a third round pick or a second. And it's ridiculous to say that because we all know that there's no other team who would give that much for Jimmy Garoppolo. So I do think that they can, and they will, if they are really interested, give a third rounder for Jimmy. And I must say that that's a great price for him. Yeah, it, it seems like what I've been hearing, uh, or at least what's been reported from New England, is that the Patriots are basically okay with trading their second round pick, number 46, or Stephon Gilmore, the 30-year-old all-pro corner who's a stud, but only signed through 2021. Um, that's interesting. It seems like that's the starting point. And the way, what I would look, I think the second round pick for Jimmy's fair, I, the way I would, but you'd want a first. Right. So I think what you could ask for is say the second this year is great. How about a conditional second next year that becomes a first round pick if you guys make the playoffs and he plays more than eight games? A first a conditional next year. What do you think of that? Could be great. But the question is, can we wait until next season? Can Kyle Shanahan wait until next season? Because all the things that we have talked about this offseason and in the end of this of last season was that right now we should make a mini rebuild in this team. Yes. And if you can earn some great picks for Jimmy Garoppolo, then you should try to earn those great picks right now if you really okay. want to be a contender next season. Okay. So how I see that is I I okay it's a it's a fair price a conditional pick next season but but you just can't wait until next season. That's I fair do, because that's if you get that second round pick this year you can you know you have 12 43 and 46 and you can maneuver and get whatever quarterback you want. You have the yeah. ammunition to do it. Yeah. Yep. That makes sense. Cuz if you wait till next season you might get the first round pick but it's a year later. And if he gets hurt and misses time and they don't make the playoffs, which is really possible with Jimmy Garoppolo, now you're getting like a late second round pick for Jimmy, which is not what you want. On the other hand, if they are just trying to trade Jimmy Garoppolo for Stefan Gilmore, I do think that he is worth more than a second round pick right now on the market. You think so? So why don't you trade Jimmy for Stefan Gilmore? If you cannot re-sign Jason Verrett because he wants to try the free agency market, just keep him. But if you can re-sign Jason Verrett, then trade Gilmore and get a late first rounder, for example. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I, I don't think – can you sign a guy and then immediately trade him? Yeah, why not? But if you know, so you can trade him and then trade him again. Right, so basically the point is like which asset is worth more, the 43rd pick or Gilmore? It's a good question. Maybe Gilmore is worth, worth worth more than the 43rd pick. He might be. He, well, he is a great player in his position. Yes, he is. He is. A position which 
worth a lot right now in the NFL. Yes. Because everybody's looking for great defensive backs right now. Mm -hmm. That's, That's true. And if you put him on a contender, he could yep. be the difference. Yep. Yeah. It's a good point. All right. Well, interesting. I, I hadn't thought of Gilmore being a more precious asset than a mid-second, but he might be. That's interesting. And I guess you just go with the better asset because you're, if you take that second, you're probably going to trade it too. You're yep. going to take that and trade it.